Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD and how to get the old school volume controller back within Windows 10. Now, I'm running the latest and greatest Windows 10, which is version 1709. I'm going to do a Windows R and I'm going to do a WinVER and 1709. Awesome. So what do I mean old school volume controller? Now, this is the new one from Windows 10. So let's get the old one. I'm going to show you guys. So let's do a Windows R and get into Reg, Edit, hit Enter. And we are going to hit Yes on the User Account Control. And I'm going to minimize this real quick because I already have a shortcut to do everything for us. So I'm going to right click on this, click on Edit. And we need to get into the local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version. Okay, so let's get into our reg. Let's get into our local machine, software, Microsoft, go all the way to the bottom, Windows NT, current version. Now within current version, you're not going to see an NTC UVC. Okay, you're not going to see that folder anywhere. Now to create the key, you need to right click on current version, go to new, and key and you're going to give it mtcvuc hit enter okay now within here we need to create a d word called enable mtc uvc so let's right click on it new d word and it's going to be enable with a capital e capital mtc capital uvc there you go. And by default, it's going to be set to zero. And then that's it. I don't think you need to restart the machine. So let's click on our little speaker. And there goes our old school volume controller. How awesome is that? I will provide this uh, kind of text file for you guys at the bottom of the video. So you could just have it good to go. I think if I delete this guy right now, let's delete it. Awesome. And I double click on it and hit yes. Hit yes again. Okay. It should import that particular file for us. There it goes. Cool. So I will provide this uh, this file for you guys at the bottom of the video. All you got to do is just double click on it. If you want to get the new one back, all you have to do is just right click, delete it, and then you know, restart your machine, then you get to go. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Leave comments right below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.